Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm on Windows 11 and I want to look at the speech to text option. Now if you use Windows 10 you've probably been using the Windows speech recognition which is pretty good but you're tied down to your desktop you can't use it online. Now Windows 11 you can still use the Windows speech recognition on your desktop. They've got a new option called voice typing for Windows 11. Now the end is more online based, so this is more cloud based. It's meant to be 100% pride, but the accuracy is meant to be better as well because they can actually improve the voice engine. They can analyze people's voices and just improve between different accents to make the online experience of using voice dictation a lot better and a lot more accurate. So what I'm going to do today is quickly, I'm going to go over both of them so you can make a decision which is best for you or maybe you want to use both. But remember, Windows speech recognition is more for the desktop. Microsoft Word and so on and voice typing you can use on both but with the voice typing option you're kind of limited on the commands you can use on Windows speech recognition there's loads more commands so you've got to work out a balance so let me show you first let me show the Windows speech recognition click the Windows key and select U for umbrella for me and it'll bring up your accessibility remember this is Windows 11 come down where it says speech interaction Make sure you want Windows speech recognition turned on. It's now on. Now I'm going to close it at the top. Also make sure you remember the shortcut key. Otherwise you have to go into Windows U and then keep selecting it here to turn it off and on. And the command is Windows key plus control plus S4 Sierra. So I'm going to try that now. And there it is at the top. Let's turn the mic off. Now the first thing I want you to do, I'm going to drag that over to the middle. You could say open word and start dictating. Before you do, do a right click on it. Make sure you choose this so you won't be able to start turn it off and on. And you can see where it says here sleep. So you can turn it to sleep or on to listen to everything you say. So remember those commands, on and sleep. If you want more accuracy from this, definitely come down to configuration. First thing you need to do, you might be using a headset, Bluetooth or wired. Let's set up my microphone and make sure you choose your microphone there. Obviously you can see that this is best suited. Remember headsets have noise cancel, most of them, on the mic. So it just improves, gets rid of background noise. Select next. Peter dictates to his computer. He prefers it to type in and particularly prefers it to pen and paper. And it's done. It's that easy and click finish. Just do that beginning. Okay, to make sure, because you might be talking into your headset, but it's your internal mic that's picking it up. Right, come back up there, right click again, last thing quickly, go to improve voice recognition. Really important. That just gives, makes it a little bit better. What you do, you have to read into it. So I won't do that now, you have to keep reading the text at the top here. I'll just do one quickly. Speech is the main way people bond and learn from each other. The way we speak affects the way we communicate with others. I'm just going to cancel that, but you kind of get the idea with that. So, don't about the rest, that will do for now. Last thing though, if you really want to get into this, Windows speech recognition, I've got a video link, a more extensive video link on this in the chat at the bottom, that I'll pin to the top, so have a little look at that. But just a quick point, you might want to use Open Speech Dictionary, just, just in case you're trying to put a word in, it's not picking up. You can add a new word there or prevent one by clicking on it. So definitely, definitely do that because sometimes you might want to add a name and it's not picking up. You can use the command up there as well. You could say start spelling and spell the word. So bear that in mind. Now, let's see the dictation. So I want to see the difference between Windows speech recognition and the new voice typing in Windows 11. Open word. New blank document. I'm going to turn that off for a second because what I'm going to do, I'm going to dictate a short paragraph into here using the Windows speech recognition that's built into the desktop. And then I'm going to do the same for the new voice typing where the end is more online based, cloud based. Geography is the study of places and the relationships between people and their environments. Geographers explore both the physical properties of Earth's surface and the human societies spread across it. They also examine how human culture interacts with the natural environment and the way that locations and places can have an impact on people. I'm going to turn that off. 
So there's my first paragraph I've dictated. Now, you have to say your punctuation full stop, end or ampersand, open quote, close quote, if you can read your punctuation in this, by the way. OK, so I'll do a bit more for you. Full stop. Geography seeks to understand where things are found, comma, why they are there, comma, and how they develop and change over time, full stop. So that's pretty accurate by the looks of it. Remember, that's that's Windows based. But what happens when you want to dictate online? You can't use this software. So they've got an option called voice typing that works both on your desktop and online. And the benefit with this, it's meant to be quite accurate. You do lose some of the commands. I'll show you that in a minute. But it does the auto punctuation for you. But the accuracy of that, you've got to work out for yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down. And now I'm going to close Windows Speech Recognition. You can close it manually with a little X there. I'll just use a shortcut, which is Windows Control. Now, to turn on voice typing, you don't have to set anything up. You just hit the shortcut key, which is Windows plus H for hotel. I'm just going to turn it off for a sec, so I want you to come to the left. Settings. Voice typing launch. So what that does is if you're online and you want to type into a box, you can set this automatically so it dictates into that box for you. So basically it allows you to use voice typing when there's a text box. The other one is auto punctuation here. And I don't know how good it's going to be, but I'm going to say the same paragraph again, but this time I'm not going to say any punctuation. So remember that the downside with this is it doesn't have many commands. But there again, it works across multiple platforms. And being cloud-based, it just opens up so many possibilities for you. So let's give it a go, shall we? Geography is the study of places and the relationships between people and their environments. Geographers explore both the physical properties of Earth's surface and the human society spread across it. They also examine how human culture interacts with the natural environment and the way that locations and places can have an impact on people. Geography seeks to understand where things are found, why they are there, and how they develop and change over time. And there we go, I can see the full stop and the beginning of the first line, which I wanted it there, automatically. And third line down across it, it's added one there. So that looks kind of basic. I don't know how it works with other punctuation, have a little play with that. The benefit with this is you can use it online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And remember to turn it on. Shortcut key, Windows H. The history of the world. And see how it jumped to the box automatically. I use that settings option, voice typing launcher as well. So bear that in mind. You can't really navigate using the online voice typing, but it does allow you to dictate anywhere. So what I'm going to do quickly, let's go to Office 365. And I'm going to do a blank document. Now remember, the benefit with that also is if you're doing emails online, a lot of people will use Google, Yahoo, or even Outlook. So it's a great option to dictate. So let's give it a go. I'm going to turn it on. Geography is the study of places and the relationships between people and their environments. And there you go. That's looking pretty accurate. So there's just a quick overview of both Windows speech recognition and voice typing and how you might want to integrate it into your, your environment with your Windows 11. Thanks for watching.